Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer news for Barca. We start with Sergi Dada of RCD Espanol as it has been reported that Barca are currently facing competition from a La Liga club in pursuit of the 29-year-old midfielder. Which club are we talking about? We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Vitor Roche, as it has been reported that Barca have finally reached a full agreement and they are soon to make the official announcement of the transfer. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, please turn on the, the post bell notification so you always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. On Monday, reports emerged claiming that Barcelona had shown an interest in signing Espanol midfielder Sergi Dader in the summer transfer window. It was reported that the La Liga champions had already opened talks with his agent, Why manager Xavi Hernandez had spoken to the midfielder to convince him of a move to the club. However, now according to a report from Porteria Nunes, La Liga Minos, Yudia Maria have also shown an interest in signing that they're from RCD Espanol in the summer transfer window. Al Maria will have a new manager heading into the next season as Vincenta Moreno is set to take over the reins of the club imminently. Having managed Espanol for close to two years in the past, the tactician knows Dadel very well and now wants to recruit him at Almeria. Xavi is looking to sign an interior midfielder who can provide goals and creativity from the center so that the team's level does not drop in the absence of Pedri. Ilkay Gundogan of Manchester City remains the utmost priority, but the Catalans are open to the idea of adding another midfielder beyond Ilkay Gundogan provided it is cost-effective operation. Dada would be available for just 10 million euros this summer, his release last amount, thus making him an appealing target for La Liga champions Barcelona. Following Espanyol's relegation, the 29-year-old is bound to leave the club this summer. However, the midfielder might have some reservations about a transfer to Barcelona. Given the rivalry between the two Catalan clubs and the fact that he is the captain of Espanyol, with more clubs in La Liga expected to go after his signing, it remains to be seen where Dada ends up in the summer. Of course, Barcelona have been showing strong interest in Sergio Dada recently. Manager Xavi is reportedly interested in the player as he wants to add, you know, he wants to add depth to the Barca midfield unit. Barca of course, we have quality players in that position, no doubt. The likes of Pedri, Gavi, Frankie de Jong, um, Frankie Sier, of course, quality players. But Xavi does not want something that, in case of injury, Barca will be suffering. Like we saw the case of last season, when Pedri was out and there was a time Frankie de Jong was also out with injury. And we faced some problems. And of course, that is why Xavi is trying to buy, what I would say, backups. You know, to ensure that those players are there available. When those are the, the first choice players are not there due to some reasons or whatever, Sergio Dada definitely will will love to come to Barca, but the fact is, Espanyol, which is a rival club of Barca, he might face some difficulties in thinking about the possibility, you know, because normally he's not they are in second division and you would expect him to be very happy about the links, but considering the rivalry issue, it might it might cause a problem. But of course, normally if this guy comes to Barca, it's not like he's going to be a first choice midfielder. Xavi is just bringing him because he's also having a quality, uh, he has quality, he's technical, but he's not supposed to be the first. You know, he's a player that can act as a good backup to the likes of Pedri or Gavi when not available or in games that they need to rest. You know, so let's see how it goes. Ikai Gondugan have been the most talked about player in that central midfield role at Barca, have been showing serious interest. But they are saying that they just go for this surgery that they're not because they are scared that they'll lose Ikai Gondugan. But if they do so, okay, good and fine. 
But if they don't lose Ikai Gundogan, if Ikai Gundogan chooses Barca, then they say Javi will still force a move for Sergi Dada because he really needs a backup in that department. Um, but let Javi not forget that we also need other strengthening like right back, uh, maybe a potential backup for Alejandro Bade in left back. Even though, yes, people will say we have players like Marcos Alonso, but I don't think it's enough. Then a, a new left winger is, as well can be, can be needed. A new left winger, but we have players there on loan who is coming back. Players like Ace Abde, but reports have been saying that Barca wish to sell him. So we don't know how things will look like. It's just a summer window to fold our arms and see what Javi and Laporta wants to do. But at the end of the day, what we want is good results. What we want is good performance from the team, isn't it? We want but that. So whatever they do, I just have to see how things go. But of course, we know the positions that Barca needs to strengthen. Javi needs to know better. And of course, let's see if actually Barca will succeed to get their hands on this Sergi Dada. Who have been talked about a lot these days then moving on to the final story of discussion with Sergio Busquets now gone Barca's top priority in the summer window would be to sign a DM the likes of Zubimendi, Ruben Neves, Amrabat among several others remain on Barca's radar but a move for any of them is now far-fetched as such, Barca have shifted attention to other areas of the pitch that needs to be strengthened this summer. One position is the backup striker role of Robert Lewandowski. Barca's priority for that position has been Brazilian wonder kid Vitor Roja. Playing for Atletico Paranense, the 18-year-old has been pushing for a move to Catalonia and is now closer than ever to that. According to a report by Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona have reached an agreement with Paranense Finally, to sign Vitor Roche, a deal worth about 35 million plus 10 million in add ons. The transfer fees will be paid across three installments, and the signing is expected to close next week after the Brazilian side's game against Sao Paulo on Wednesday. Roche will sign a five year contract until 2028, and his release clause is expected to stand at 1 billion euros. Barca, however, had already reached an agreement with Vitor Roque on personal terms a while back ago. And the player had publicly stated his desire to join the Catalans as well. This therefore could be Barcelona's first signing announcement of the summer. Even though they had reportedly closed an agreement with Inigo Martinez, the Athletic Club defender will join on free. Though he's in a rush, he's no rush to decide his future. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.